afternoon, everyone. Danielle K. Howell here. I'm just sitting here in my kitchen. <laughs> sitting here in my kitchen watching my little doggy out the window over there as she runs back and forth. I actually got that puppy for my daughter for her birthday this year. So, you know, blessings, blessings, blessings all around. So I just want to wish you guys, you know, a happy day wherever you are in the world, whether it's daytime, nighttime, evening, in the middle of the night. I just appreciate you watching this Facebook Live or if you're watching this on YouTube or wherever you're watching this on my blog, wherever you happen to be watching this, either live or the replay, I appreciate you watching. So let's talk a little bit today about expectation, expectation. And what makes me talk about this uh, particularly is because earlier today I was on a, a mastermind. I was at a, a VIP mastermind and they went over uh, the principles of Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. Now, hopefully you have read this book. I've read this book many, many times. I've listened to it on audio and it is probably one of the most powerful books that you can read when you are on the journey of self-improvement, personal development, entrepreneurship and beyond. I mean, literally, it can change your whole way of thinking about how to build a uh, sustainable business and how to make money, right? So how to attract it and all that great stuff. So uh, so one of the things that, you know, uh, in Napoleon uh, Hill's book, he talks about, uh, you know, different principles. There are actually 12 of them. And on this mastermind that I was on today, um, where people pay, you know, $250 a month to be a part of this mastermind, which I'm a part of. Uh, so we pay our dues to be a part of this mastermind because without a mastermind alliance, right? You are dead in the water. You need like-minded people to be around so that you can feed off of them. You cannot, again, remember, I always say this on every one of my broadcasts, you cannot succeed on your own. I don't care how great you think you are. You just cannot succeed on your own. You need mentors, you need coaches, and you need like-minded people to come together as a group and uh, to uh, to share knowledge, to share your, um, you know, your, your, your ideas, right? That, and that's what a mastermind alliance is all about. And that's one of the things that Napoleon Hill talks about in that book, Think and Grow Rich. But what I'm going to talk about today is the power of expectation, the power of expectation. Now, one of the principles in uh, Think and Grow Rich is not about expectation, but it's called having applied faith, right? And to me, that's the same thing. If you apply faith, having applied faith, and you have expectations, it's the same thing. It's the same concept. The concept being that you are projecting your mind out into the future, right? You are, you are projecting your thoughts. You are already, um, you know, you are already believing, right? That's the word I'm looking for. You are already believing that you have what you want, and this is, I think, one of the hardest things for people to grasp because it's different than writing down goals, right? Writing down goals, you can write down your goals. You can say you want that, you know, Mercedes Benz or that Range Rover and that, you know, $100,000 a month cash or whatever. You can write all that stuff down. Uh, you can even uh, write down, and I always teach my students that they should have a specific time frame, right? And this is being, and this is taught from uh, Thinking Grow Rich as well. The, the, a lot of the principles that I teach in my in my uh, courses, it stems from what I've been taught through books such as Think and Grow Rich. But you want to have a time frame, right? You just don't want to say, "Yeah, I want to be a, I want to be a millionaire," and it's like leave it at that. No, if you want to be a millionaire. You have to put how long uh, you are going to take. You know, when when do you expect to be, become a millionaire? What is it that looks and feels and sounds like a millionaire? How does a millionaire behave? How does a millionaire feel? Right. What does a millionaire do in, with their mornings? Right. So same thing with expectation and applied faith. So you can write down your goals. But if you don't what? What's the magic word? Believe it. Right. You must believe that you are going to achieve what you set out to achieve. Uh, one of the, who, who wrote this, you know, what the mind can uh, believe, the mind can achieve. Right. Whatever you believe to be so, tis true. Right. Tis true. So when you think about uh, belief and when you think about 
having applied faith and when you think about uh you know the emotions behind what it is that you want and and the things that you desire you have to put aside all doubts and i think like i said i think that is the hardest thing to do to put aside doubt <laughs> to put aside doubt and say nope you know i believe that the universe is working in my favor and everything that i set out to do and become is happening right now. It's happening right now. And what happens is this, when you put out that air of expectation, when you put aside any doubt, fears, and you don't, you know, dwell on it, well, how is it going to happen? Oh my goodness. You know, yes, I want to, I need that new car or I need that new house. But where's the money coming from? When you put away all doubt and fear and you just go into a mode of expectation and applied faith, this is where miracles happen, like literally, like literally, like I've seen it in my own life. I've seen it in my own life. I've seen it in other people's lives and you can't deny it, but you have to, you know, put away the doubt, put away the, um, you know, the fear, because that is what keeps people stuck. But you have to expect great things if you want to achieve it. You can't say Yes, I want this great thing. I want this great thing. I'm sorry, my doggy. I want this great thing, but inside you don't feel like you're going to get it. You know, do you understand? Because then there's a conflict. There's a conflict. So when it comes to business, right? And that's why you guys are here because you probably are in business or you want to be in business. You don't know how to start a business. One of the things that you have to understand is that everything depends on your level of feeling, your level of faith, your level of expectation. What does the Bible say? Have, a, have the faith of the size of a mustard seed, right? I mean, and that's little. That's, you don't have to have much. You don't have to believe, you know, that, the, that everything is going to, um, like the skies are going to open up and the sun is going to start beaming down and poof right there is going to be your magic thing that you've been, been hoping and praying for. No, not like that. It's just the, the fact of the matter that you have to believe that this world, that God, the universe is working in your favor to give you exactly what you want and exactly what you desire, even when things don't seem to go your way. Now, that's where people falter. <laughs> like, you know, that's where people falter. And I've been guilty of that myself. Like, oh, my gosh, like, you know, this is what I wanted. But yet I don't know how is it going to happen? Right. Because look at all this stuff that doesn't seem like it's going in the way that I want it to go. If it was supposed to go the right way, then why is everything look like it's going the wrong way? Right. Human nature. Our human nature takes a hold of us and we want to we want to get in control again. But I want to tell you this. Right. As I've been on this journey of entrepreneurship, on this journey of self-improvement, on this journey of, uh, you know, of higher learning and just learning more about myself, learning more about people, learning more about, you know, having more uh, faith in the things that I do and uh, just attracting great, great things in my life as, I, as I've learned how to do these things and I continue to do it. Um, one of the things that I've noticed is that you got to let go. You got to let go and you have to believe. You put it out there. You know, if you pray, you put it out there. You don't just say, please, God, please, 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 please. You know, you put it out there and you believe and you leave it there. You leave it there and you let life unfold for you. You go ahead and you take the action that comes to you, right? If you have a, a plan, that's why you have to have some type of plan to, uh, to do the things that you need to do, right? Have a plan and then put that plan into action and don't worry about anything else. Don't worry if, if it looks like things are going left when you want it to go right. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, if you don't falter, if you don't lose faith, if you don't uh, question your your path and you don't you don't question what's going on and you continue to say this is this is going to happen for me. I know it is. And I, you know, I'm confident it will happen. It will happen. And, you know, like there's been lots of stories on this mastermind that I was on, you know, 
um, there were some people there who worked closely with Tony Robbins. And I think, you know, one of my mentors, Vitaly, who brought these people on, and I was only on for a short time, um, probably for like half of the session because, um, you know, I was busy the first half. But as soon as I jumped on, I knew exactly what they were talking about. Like I, didn't, I wasn't there from the beginning, but I knew exactly what they were talking about, uh, that they were referencing Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. I knew it right, right, from, right off the bat because I had studied this book. And as a matter of fact, I'm like, it made me want to uh, bring it back out and uh, dust it back off so that I can, you know, re-engage with it again. Um, the books such as these, you know, these are kind of books that you have to read over and over again. And these people were from Tony Robbins, um, I guess his organization somehow. And, um, you know, Vitaly was in, in um, I think he's still out there uh, at the Tony Robbins event, which I really wanted to go to. Um, I will definitely, hopefully, if he comes back to Florida, I'm definitely going to uh, make it. Um, to see him. That's been one of my dreams to make to to make Tony Robbins event. And I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to have applied faith and I'm going to, uh, you know, use use my 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 applied faith and my expectation. And, and hopefully he doesn't retire because I know he's thinking about retiring. Hopefully he doesn't retire and he makes his way back to Florida so that I can go in and see him. But what I want to say is, you know, this is something that most most influential people, most rich people, most people who have done amazing things in their lives and in their businesses, people who have, you know, taken up from having, you know, debilitating diseases and who, who've gotten better, who've gotten well, people who have been broke and homeless, who's become rich and wealthy and influential, you know, these types of people, people who have been abused and, and used, they've become, you know, um, you know, very, very powerful. Powerful people, and you know, people that come to my mind are people like Oprah Winfrey and and Tony Robbins and um, you know Tyler Perry. If you think about these kind of people, right? They they literally started from nothing, and they had so many obstacles against them, but yet they had that applied faith. They 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 had expectation. They put in the work, and they knew that it was going to happen. And I'm pretty sure they had days where it was so hard that they did not know you know, if what they were going to do was going to work. You know, I, I've heard Tyler Perry talk about, you know, writing his plays and just was like nobody wanted to to play his plays. Like, you know, he, it was the hardest thing ever. But when it comes to having expectation and applying faith, you can't give up. Right. You can't because uh, one of the things that that we know for sure is that this takes practice. It's, it's a practice that you have to put in place. It's not like today, yeah, I believe tomorrow I'm going to be rich. And then tomorrow comes, you're not rich. And it's like, hmm, thing else that was going to work. No, it's not like that. It's something that you have to work at. And it's not something like a lottery ticket. It's, it's not like that. It's about you really honing in inner, inner, it's more inner work than anything else. It's not just, you know, saying the words and then thinking poof, like puff the magic dragon. No, it's inner work. You have to do the inner work. It's subconscious work. It's, um, you know, it's, 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 it's focused work. You know, it's, it's that inner work. I can't even describe how important that inner work is every morning, right? When I wake up, you know, I don't, I don't get on, I don't get on uh, Facebook or anything like that. Literally, I probably do self development for like an hour to three hours. And when I say after three hours, I mean, you know, it all includes reading my books, um, doing my stretching, you know, doing my prayer, my meditation. Now, lately, I've been sitting outside in nature in my backyard and literally doing my yoga and things like that outside. Um, and just being in nature and, um, and, and, and being in tune with my inner, inner self and my higher being, you know, God. So, you know, you got to do the inner work because if you feel disconnected, right. And you're not grounded, if you feel disconnected and you feel overwhelmed and not grounded, then your, your expectations most likely is going to take much longer. It's when you're grounded. It's when you take time to you know, stop and smell the roses, so to speak, and understand that things out there, right? Things out there such as, um, oh, my, my puppy wants to come inside. She's out there. Um, you know, the thing, when I say the things out there, I mean, you know, the, the world, the universe. When I, when I go outside and I sit down in the sun, the sun is like literally beating on my face. It feels so beautiful. <laughs> like it feels so magnificent. And um, I just know that you know, I'm loved and I'm, and I'm, you know, 
like the, the sun beating on my face just feels like love. <laughs> I can't even explain it. Like, I just feel like God is just like shining on me and telling me, you know, I'm loved. And I, and I sit there and I just want to love myself drinking my, you know, my, now I've been drinking some distilled water and my, you know, whatever you would drink it, but drinking water and, um, you know, eating healthy. So all these things go together right? All these things go together, positive thinking and setting intentions and expectations for what you want. I would have never been able to create what I have currently without expectations, without applied faith. I would not. And you guys probably have no idea what I've created. I mean, as much as I talk about it, you know, on my Monday morning call, sometimes I even cry about it because I'm so overjoyed. I, I, like I'm so overwhelmed with joy, like literally, like if you know, if, if you if you only knew, you know, what you are capable of accomplishing, you would never sell yourself short ever again. Never, never, ever, ever. But anyway, I don't want to get off the topic, but have a level of expectation. It all starts with working on yourself. Work here. Work here. Start from your heart. Right. Get out of your head and start from your heart. Right. Start from that heart center and and know that you are powerful beyond measure that you have the ability to create the life that you want, the money that you want, the business that you want, everything, the relationships that you want, everything. You have the ability to create all of that, all of it. Uh, but you've got to be around people who uh, are also creating that. That's why it's so important to show up on Mastermind. I'm glad I pay $250 a month. I'm about to add another extra $200 a month to be a part of another um, another uh, mastermind that that we have, so four hundred fifty dollars a month is you know is great to me to be able to invest. I always tell people you got to invest in yourself if you want to be free, if you want to be successful, if you want to know you know how to become. Uh, a, a freedom rider, live a laptop lifestyle. If you, you know, want to know how to, you know, um, quit that job, walk away from that nine to five, whatever it is, or maybe you want to get healthier. I don't know, <laughs> but you got to invest in yourself. That I do know. I do know because you can't do it alone. You have to get around people who have what you want. You got to get around people who, who think like you do. Because I'm going to tell you, there's not a lot of people out there that thinks like entrepreneurs that, you know, live the life that we live. You know, I know my neighbors were like, what in the world does she do? Right. Why is she home all the time? Why does she have the biggest house on the block? <laughs> I know they think that. Right. Um, why? They probably think that nobody has ever asked me that. Well, you know, but they think it. Right. And all I can say is. I own my life. <laughs> I own my life. And you can too. You know, I'm home all day, <laughs> every day. And it's a beautiful feeling. I get to do what I want, when I want, how I want. And I get to choose who I, who I, who I want to be in my space. I think that's the most important thing. You know, when we are tied to a job, well, even certain relationships, as you guys know, I just left a very toxic relationship. Right. And um, it was hard for me. It was hard because at the, I wanted to leave. But at the same time, I didn't want to make the wrong thing. You know, as, as a wife and a mother, you want the best for your children. And so and, I, and at the time, I guess I didn't even think about myself. I just really wanted to make sure that my children was OK, because that's all that really matters to me and my children. But of course, my I, mat I matter, too, because if I'm not OK, my children are, are not OK. Um, but, you know, I left that relationship and it was the best decision I ever made. One of the best decisions I've ever made. And not only did I leave, but I moved thousands of miles away and I found myself. <laughs> I found my my freedom. I found my purpose. I found my passion. I found my mission. And most of all, I found love for myself, for myself. And then sometimes you give your your love away <laughs> to people who don't deserve it. So, you know, when you can't uh, choose your uh, relationships that can become toxic as well. Sometimes we have toxic relationships at work, right? You you smile and you you pretend that you uh, enjoy the the lunchroom gossip, but do you really? Do you really? Is that what you want to do with your time? I used to hate it. I used to go running instead. 
So, you know, I've always been a person to choose my surroundings. And instead of sitting at lunchtime and, and engaging in lunchtime gossip, I formed a running club at my job. We didn't we didn't eat lunch. We just used to run. So but it's, it's a great experience. It's a great feeling when you can choose. I choose now to hang out with entrepreneurs. I can't wait. In a couple of weeks, I'll be masterminding with a few other entrepreneurs at a mansion uh, down here in Florida. And this is what I choose to do. And, you know, I pay for these for these things and I get to be around like minded people, people who think like me, people who take care of their health, people who uh, make money from home, people who, uh, you know, are of influence, people who love life and who live life to the fullest. It's no better feeling, no better feeling, no gossip. You know, none of that, none of that garbage. Who needs that? That's toxic. That's toxic. But anyway, guys, I want to talk to you about expectation and think about that. Think about how you can use applied faith and expectation in your life, in your daily life, right? What is it that you want? What is it that you desire? Instead of just going along with emotions, create your environment, create it. You know, there's this movie and I can't wait to come on. Um, what was it called Inception. There's this movie called Inception with uh, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, goodness. Um, ah, what's his name? And he's like my Leonardo DiCaprio. He's my one of my favorite actors. I love Leonardo DiCaprio. And the movie called Inception. And what happens is this. They like go into a state of sleep, which I, you know, I, I determine this as your subconscious. And they go and then they change reality. They change reality. I can't wait to come on again because I want to watch it again. Um, and this is what we have the power to do. We have the power to change reality, our own reality. And because what we see and what we feel actually manifests as, as our real reality around us. We create what we see, what we feel who we interact with. We create that. We think we don't. That's what's so crazy. We think we don't, but we do. We do. Um, and so watch Inception if you've never seen it. You know, think about it. You know, same thing as The Matrix, all that stuff. You know, these movies are not just movies. These are movies that were created by people who understand the subconscious. They understand the subconscious mind and they understand the power of creation and intent. And they understand the power of expectation and applied faith. Because you can do just about anything you set your mind to, including making a lot of money online. All right, my friends, my laptop is on 27%. I have the charger right here, but I have not charged it. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for showing up and, um, and uh, watching this. Be sure to attend my webinar tomorrow night, my webinar at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to go into a little bit more depth about how you can create sales, how you can make money online, how you can build your best life, how you can, you know, cut through all the hype and all the nonsense. It's a lot of hype out there. A lot, a lot. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, believe in hype. Hey, Robert. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to the hype, right? I'm all about getting to the meat and potatoes, the real of the real, because that's what it's all about. People don't need a lot of hype. They need things that's going to work for them. Strategies, right? That's going to work. And I'm going to talk about that tomorrow night. I'm going to share you, with you guys some of my strategies that have worked for me uh, over the past almost four years that I've been full time online running my business from home. Um, it's been a remarkable experience. And um, it just it just makes me excited to share this kind of stuff. Um, so, oh, thank you, John. Appreciate you. Great you guys are on here. Um, so hopefully you guys will come on my webinar tomorrow night and I'll see you then. I look forward to uh, talking to you and sharing some more golden nuggets. <laughs> All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you. Keep climbing, keep working, keep moving forward. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.